morning, we're talking about medical mysteries. The first case involves a little boy named Liam. His parents thought he had the flu, but it quickly became clear that it was something much worse. Watch. Before Liam got sick, he was a very rambunctious two and a half year old boy. Very healthy, very spunky, and he had such a personality. Liam was also best friends with the family boxer. Liam became sick on October 24th of 2015. He came down with symptoms similar to the flu. He was throwing up, he was running a fever, and he was just kinda, kinda wiped out. Three days later, Liam's face turned yellow, so Chris rushed his son to the closest ER. The doctor's news was grim. I'm gonna tell you right now, your son, he's, he's very sick. I can't tell you what's wrong with him. All I can tell you is he's, he's very sick and we need to get him to the University of Iowa right away. Liam was med flighted to the University of Iowa Stead Family Children's Hospital. And they told me that he had coded and had to be resuscitated three different times. Liam had to be put on continuous dialysis. His liver shut down, his kidneys are shut down, he, his whole body's just shutting down. Liam's fingers and feet turned black from lack of circulation. They had to be amputated. They believed it was a bacteria, but they couldn't narrow it down to which one it was. Today, Liam is a healthy five-year-old with a set of prosthetic legs, but his parents still live with the fear of their little boy getting sick again. There's been countless nights in the last couple of years that I haven't gotten any sleep just because I'm, I'm scared. And not knowing has been the worst. Joining me now are Liam and his parents, Chris and Angela Young. Thank you all so much for being here. Hi, Liam. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's hard to watch that, I'm sure, and, and go back to those early days when you had no idea how this was gonna land, right? Yes. Um, it started out just like a flu. You thought it was a flu, Angela? Yeah. Um, he ran a fever about 103, had um, puked a couple times, and then two days later, his liver and kidneys shut down. Oh, my goodness. So it winds up, he gets airlifted in the hospital, coded, um, and then the test began, right, to try to figure out what caused this, right? Mm -hmm. And what, what did the doctors say at first? What did they first think it was? <laughs> they had no idea. Um, it, it seemed like every hour they'd come in the room and we tested for this, it wasn't this. Um, we tested for this and, it, and it's not this. We don't have any idea what's going on. Mm -hmm. And that was, that was the hardest part is them not knowing to, um, what to go after or how to fix it. Look at that beautiful face. <laughs> Look at that beautiful smile. <laughs> And so finally you get connected with Brigham and Women's, uh, right, which is part of Harvard, um, and they concluded that they thought they might know what it was. Mm -hmm. Tell us what it was. Um, so when they did some genetic testing, they found out that Liam has kind of a mutated gene um, that would su make him susceptible yeah, <laughs> to susceptible. Um, fighting off the Capnocytophaga bacteria. Which we find where? In cat and dog saliva. And that, so it, they think it related to your, to your dog. Yeah, or any dog, really. Right, it's not yeah, like there was anything wrong with your dog. No, it's all healthy dogs and cats carry it, and it's just a bacteria in their flora that they have. And getting, getting licked by the dog in particular, mm -hmm. which can affect somebody like Liam with this mutation differently than the rest of us. Yeah. Yes. Um, so how's he doing today? <laughs> Seems awesome. He's fine. <laughs> How you feeling, buddy? Good. <laughs> Is this crazy, sitting out here with all these people? Yeah, a little, I know. Yeah. I feel the same. Um, <laughs> and so obviously he's had, he's had, he has prosthetics that he uses now. How, yes. How's he doing on those? Very good. Yeah. Um, he fell down the other day and he hurt his knee a little bit, so he hasn't been wearing them lately. But mm -hmm. other than that, he's been doing fabulous with them. It depends on, on the day. Yeah. yeah. Um, we've got a family physician here with us, not your physician, but her name is Dr. Jen Cottle. She's here with us in our audience. And Dr. Cottle, I mean, is this uh, something that p parents need to worry about, you know, that this dog saliva or cat saliva? 
I think it's something that we should simply know about, and I think you described it so well, um, which is that this is a bacteria that lives in dog and cat saliva, healthy dogs and cats. It's normal for them, doesn't make them sick, and usually doesn't make us sick either. It usually requires almost like a perfect storm of a special circumstance for people to get sick, a weakened immune system, for example, Can you get or a lack of spleen. for this genetic mutation? Um, for the genetic mutation, very likely, it sounds like you guys had testing, is that correct? Mm -hmm. um, and that's what helped you determine the genetic mutation. But remember, there are a lot of conditions that can cause someone to have a weakened immune system or altered immune system, okay? Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of diseases, conditions from HIV to cancer, et cetera. Um, so those are the people, along with those who don't have a spleen, that are more likely to get this um, and become and an, uh, have, have problems. What would you guys say is the one thing you want parents to know, having been through this? Is there, is there one message, one takeaway for other, other parents out there? Even though the chances of um, suffering from this are slim, there's always that possibility. Mm -hmm. And stay alert, right? I yeah. mean, you were, you were active. You saw that fever. You said he's going in. Well, and not, not necessarily. Like, I thought he just had the flu, and it was not until his color had started changing that we took him in. Mm -hmm. So um, when people tell you that a 103-degree fever is normal and your body will fight it off, sometimes it's not. That mean for us when his body when he gets to 103 degrees. Look at him. He <laughs> is such a him. scene stealer. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> you are a beauty. Oh, uh, you know what? It's like that spirit is contagious. I can oh, yeah. I can see it and it's I can see it in you too. So easy to stay positive when he this is the way he is. <laughs> thank you for sharing him with us and thank you for telling the story. Much love to your whole family. We'll be right back.